So I recently got this 2013 Nissan Leaf battery. It's only three quarters of it. I bought it from a guy on Craigslist who happened to just have a Nissan Leaf battery for some project. He took one quarter of it to use for his own project, but left three quarters of it and wanted to sell it. So I bought the big battery pack and one of the smaller battery packs. So that one has 12 cells in it, and that one had, I think, 24 cells in it. Well, in the last video, we opened that one up and removed all the cells, so the cells are over there now. There's only 11 right there. One is in my room. I'm testing it. I'm going to do some fun stuff with that. But yeah, these are the cells that we get out. Pretty cool. They're 8.4 volts at 60 amp hours each. Or at least they should be. At least on the back they say 500 watt hours. So that's nice. That means that the estimate that I had is actually pretty close. Now the thing is, that was easy. It only took me about 45 minutes to get it all apart. But this one, well... I can no longer pick this one up, because that one I can kind of pick it up and move it around. This one I can't pick up. And this one is a high enough voltage that it will basically fry you. 180 volts? Yeah, that's, that's lethal voltage. Well, lethal voltage if you put it in the wrong place. So you don't want to fuck with it. So I say, let's fuck with it. I don't really know where exactly to start on this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get it off of that furniture dolly. By trying to move it off. It took two people to get it on there, so we'll see how that goes. Well, it looks like I should start off by taking off these white shields off of here. And then, looks like you can take off these bits. So I'll just start undoing these bolts. Because basically I wanted to get it down to where it's only held on by the four bolts on the ends. And that will be taking off these, and taking off these so I can get off the balance leads. And that should be it. And now we're getting to the point where gloves are pretty much always required. You know, because before, whenever everything's shielded like that, you can touch anything you want, kind of, and it's, just, it's not going to hurt you, as long as you're smart. But now, it's a whole different ball game. Hmm. Wish I had some plastic screwdrivers to use, but I don't, so, oh well. Man, isn't that beautiful? I love it. Now we're just going to go through and remove all the balance leads. And then remove all these bolts. But as Benjamin Nelson pointed out on, on one of his videos, whenever you remove one bolt, don't fully remove that one before you remove the other one. Because if you remove that one fully, and it's not there to hold the bus bar in place, whenever you go like that, this might pop it up, this might like break the housing. I can't remember if he had that issue whenever he was tightening it, or, or if he was also whenever he was loosening it, but either way, it doesn't hurt.
And we got it. <laughs> oh my, look at this. You can pop that through. So I could just start pulling these out. Well... grab this bucket of tools And so just like that, this big, huge battery turned into a bunch of small cells that are much easier to handle. It's getting pretty late, so I moved everything into the shed. It's nicely. I'm actually really surprised that this free cabinet that I got on the side of the road is actually holding it. This cabinet is obviously homemade. I put the indie caps underneath so it helped hold up the bottom because otherwise it would all come crashing down. But yeah, I am really happy with that. That is a lot of lithium cells. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!